Hey everybody, it's Kelly. I'm going to do my 2019 December daily walkthrough. Keep in mind that every one of these pages has a YouTube video for it. So just go to my playlist for December daily 2019 and just look up the day and you'll be able to find that tutorial. I will try to remember to link that in the description, but in case I don't, just go to the playlist and it's there. So I'll try to remember to show you anything that I've added or changed because I did do a walkthrough of my whole album uh, earlier today, added a few things here. Just look to see if there was anything that was missing or that I wanted to change. I used a Simple Story 6x8 album and a lot of L Studio product. So, um, Page one, I use this Hello December Make My Wishes Come True. That's just um, from the internet. A little story of my sister and I and brunch. I use these L Studio numbers all the way through. It was a page of different numbers. I loved using those. We'll definitely look at doing something like that again instead of finding my own. And then this is the second half of that with um, a journaling card and that kind of thing. This North Pole um, little bag here holds a um, letter to myself about what I wanted December to look like. That was a, this is a redefined creative um, page, which is the advent calendar I used this year, and that was one of Christina's ideas. I know Shamel does that as well. So I did that, um, just added some of my own washi tape and a snowflake from there. This is day number two, with the, which is just kind of a story of my decorating and how I decorated outside much earlier than I normally do and why that was. So again, sometimes I like to use just filler cards like that if I only have a small um, page, you know, projector, small page um, to do. Here is um, a couple stories here of, um, or a story of my tree with a special ornament on it. And then uh, she's on here somewhere as well. Uh, she's down in here somewhere. Anyway, um, kind of how this is the first ornament and why. This is December 4th and this is a little um, page about Hallmark movies and this definitely, this Christmas Town movie was definitely my favorite of the season and one of my favorites always. And I'm just seeing this little piece here kind of slid on me. They, these like to do this so I might end up having to put some glue dots behind this behind this um, and this is something I added so when I went through when I first did this card I didn't have these hallmark buttons they were a little bonus we got a little bonus money from our redefined creative kit so I didn't have these two pieces I added them later and then when I went back and looked at it, I decided like this was missing something so I added these three little um, peppermint dots and these this is old 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 probably three or four years old and then this one down here so that is something that I did add in when I went back this day five is the same as you saw it created here with my presents and wrapping paper I always like to include my wrapping paper somewhere um, this is my little bag here um, for Santa's workshop. It holds not just my receipts of the things I bought, but also my Christmas list, and I did dress that up as well. So I keep that on my phone, and then I take a um, print of it at the end of when I'm done shopping with how much everything was and that kind of stuff. This Mary I did change slightly. I added that um, little puffy heart. Just It felt a little empty, and then I did this kept shifting, so I put two extra staples in as well. And then I did change this one a little bit too. I just added these three dots. That's how it started here. I added those three because it just felt like it needed something more um, to add to these acrylics in this joy and then added that one on this side. This is a little bit of story of a friend and I going out together one night. That really stayed the way it was. Nothing really changed here on day six and used one of these. I like these little pieces. Any die cuts that I have I just keep using them throughout the season I've got lots of scrapbooking yet to do but the plain labels like the black and gray labels I did put into my regular stash um, this I really left both of these spreads so this is day number seven just kind of a story about um, a run and then um, some coffee warm-up that I did and then um, some hot chocolate and a little bit of scrapping so just kind of my beverages for the day that beverage card there um, and then a new mug that I have. <laughs> this is um, 
story of day eight, I created, a, I have a Cricut and I used my, created my own shirt here. And then while I was doing that and some other crafting, I watched, uh, was binge watching the Fabulous Mrs. Maisel or the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I always want to call it Fabulous this weekend. So just kind of a little thing to remind me. Um, this card I did a little change a little bit. This is the story of my nativity set because it's in a different place than it usually has been. I did add this little wood veneer. It just felt like there was so much wood on this page here that I wanted a little wood on this card. So I added that in and just moved this sequin over here. Um, and then this is a little Boulevard, Bella Boulevard. He has a reason for the season. So that's a little bit of a change. This, um, page which is some of my Cricut crafting here um, with a couple I made a lot of these cups for these mugs for friends this is my mom's and this is another friend's because she doesn't like wine she likes beer so I did that so nothing changed here just a reminder of the season um, again here on day 11 nothing changed here just a story of a, a friend and I and I was at her house so I used the snow globe with the house on it and just added some other more wood veneer Day 12 is all about me, my Christmas cards, finishing my Christmas cards and getting those mailed. So here is my card right here. And then I did put a little cutout snowflake on the back. This bag and my card says joy. So this bag has the word joy on it, which I liked. Has my letter, Christmas letter in it. So I just have to pull that out if I ever want to see that. And then you flip it and I made a... I'll shake this a little made a shaker pocket there and then I ended up I didn't like what how it looked behind it if I remember correctly or I needed more space I think so I ended up actually backing it on white but it's still a cute shaker pocket I did not use many of these square um, uh, page protectors this year sometimes I do sometimes I don't I did not take that many square photos as a matter of fact this wasn't isn't even a square but I decided it was time to use some square photos and I think I might have made these two pages really close together and I took these square photos from the next day which is day number 13 of a dinner out with some friends and my entree and then the menu so um and again they're actually they're not square now that I look at it um they were horizontal this one was a horizontal three by four and then I just used that much of the menu so really didn't use many of those this year some years I've used a lot of them I usually have kind of favorites these are simple stories page protectors by the way Day number 14 was the story of me making these Bailey's Irish Cream Chocolate Chip Cookies. I did include the recipe a couple days later at the back of a video, and I don't remember where that was, but it was a couple days later. So if you're looking for it, check out the ends of, of the last couple of videos after like 15, 16, 17, something like that. Maybe even 20, I don't remember. But anyway, um, if you need it, let me know and we'll figure out how to get it to you if you can't find it. Uh, they're delicious though. And so I a little mixing bowl flare here and um, just some other things. And part of the instructions for this start out with poor Bailey's Irish cream. So I did and drink as you need. This spread was a spread that was a, this is a tough spread for me. It was a concert out with some friends and I was having just a really hard time with this. And I think the thing that still throws us off is that little spread there and I might go back when I'm all done here and flip which card these are attached to because I think that might help if the dark was here I think if the dark was here and the light was there I think that might help um I don't know here let's look at this oh that's stuck to that outside I forgot that yeah, that might. It might help. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I think I'll make that change. Um, so it doesn't bother me as much as it used to, but I'm still, as you can tell, not completely happy with the, the spread. And it's just the balance from that card throwing it. But I wanted the business card included. So that is what it is, right? And I might just leave it and say, I'm done. <laughs> So anyway, so this one is a three-page spread, actually, because it's these two pages, plus it um, continues on to this. And I did, with this, add these three presents to this. This card felt really empty compared to all the stuff going on, so I added those three presents. And then this is the wine menu from um, Cooper's Hawk. And so I just added this little Celebrate Puffy to echo this. And these are, these are on the outside because so is this, and then so is that going to be. This is the um, program of the of that night and I can pull it out and see the rest of it. It's just flipped up underneath there. Just added some stars to the program to kind of coordinate with some of the other puffy things that are going on. 
this was just like a filler page because um, I wanted to get this program in. I didn't, I don't think I did that originally, or if I did, I didn't do this till later. So this is kind of a filler page, but I like how it, it you know, how it speaks to the season and that kind of thing. This is another puff, this is a felt star from my advent calendar here. This is the story of the decor at work. So this is kind of a little extra card here. And I did add this little um, puffy um, circle to this. I was missing a third puffy element and I tried to figure it out when I was doing this and couldn't today. It was like, oh, just put a little dot right there. So anyway, there's that. This is a flip up and it's just um, done with washi tape between two layers here so that there's the photograph, the journaling, and another photograph there. And yeah, I could have put the photograph down here, but you know, I have the journaling to do or, you know, that kind of thing. I really like how that worked. Plus, I like some of the interactive pieces of this album. This is my favorite album. I have my 2015 was, I think was my other favorite, but this just one, I love all the interactive pieces of this. Day number 17, I didn't change anything. That's the story of um, two special ornaments with some puffies and... Um, back side of this. Day number 18 is a story about me using my Cricut to put Silent Night on my nativity on this space that I've been, I've had this thing, this um, crush for probably 30 years and or something close to it and I finally figured out what to do with that. And then I have a little acetate or um, vellum, printed vellum there that you can see through. On the back side of that printed vellum I did put another label, use some more stuff from my Redefined Creative um, kit. I haven't changed anything here. It's a picture of my treadmill um, and watching like scrapbook videos and that kind of stuff while I was running because it was cold and s cold and maybe maybe a little snowy. Um, and then this ironic Christmas sleigh rides, my treadmill being my sleigh. Day number 20 is a story about baking sugar cookies and I did have all everything on but this guy and this guy here. So I just added some more gingerbread men to this spread and then there's one down here as well too. This little pocket again is from Redefine Creative and um, from our, um, Chris, our kits and our advent calendars. And my recipe for the sugar cookies is on there then. So that recipe card was included. I love, again, interactive elements, different sizes, that kind of a thing. I did use a ton of these... Um, one four by six and two three by fours or four three by fours this year that's probably the most popular size I have every year there's a popular size I love this is a story of uh, just a fun night out for my mom and I we went to see a light show um, and then uh, we went to dinner together so just kind of that story I did add this a beautiful sight sticker from my stickers that I had and then here's the menu from the place we went to eat and I did add in these couple of things just to kind of bring it in to these labels and things to kind of bring it into the spread. Um, there's a big orange thing here and it just really stuck out. So this is still orange but this just made it not work with the spread so I did that. This is just the back of the menu and I used um, some tissue paper and you can tell it's kind of coming off and that kind of stuff but I you know I think I'm okay with this um, added that just an old gift tag a doily and some acrylic stars from Hobby Lobby um, this I didn't change anything here or here this is a story about um, getting ready for some things that were going to go on Christmas week so making I'm part um, Hispanic so making refried beans and a cheeseburger casserole for my stepkids and kids and then this pocket came from redefined the our secret not secret um, event calendar from redefined creative and then I just journaled on that and put a little piece on the inside of that to make that you know kind of work in the spread a little bit added in some browns here and here so that it kind of blends together this is day number 22 which was Christmas with my grandkids I did add a couple of things to this um, one being the um, wood veneer there yeah I didn't add anything there so this little wood veneer candy cane I added here and just, you know, here's my adding in a lot of extra pages here. And I wanted to add some more wood veneer into the book because I didn't have that much and I had wood veneer. Oh, and there's one here too. This one might be a little bit hard to see. I'll bring the book up. It's a little piece of candy there. So I added two wood veneers in here because, you know, kids candy. 
Um, this is day number 23. It's about some ornaments I made, one for myself and one for three families. That goes with the Santa tray that's across from it actually for day number 24. I didn't change anything here. This is a tag from our Secret Not Secret um, kit club, and then I just added, was the Believe tag, and then I just added the little holly from my L Studio Puffy stickers, just because it's the 24th, and I'm talking a, to this Santa tray that I made, um, and then just added, you know, some other pieces in here. Um, this cute little sticker that says Santa was workshop. This is actually a cut. It wasn't a tag like this. I cut it from a three by four card. So remember to make those three by four cards work for you if they don't work for you in the form. It was pink around it and I didn't want to use the pink in this spread. So, and then this is a story of a taco ring wreath I made, which was very cool. If you haven't done that, one of those, check that out on Pinterest. You can, there's a ton of them. This is day number 25, kind of quiet around my house. Our main celebration was actually on January 1st. So I often start my breakfast with a sugar cookie and that's that story. Um, this is my shirt that I made myself. I wanted to make sure that appeared in. And then just some journaling about that. Day number 26 is the story of my um, gifts for my clients. So the list, I've got a little card in here with the, and I guess there's only last names, no last names here, so I guess I can pull this out. But anyway, of what they gave me and just their first name and initial, so I remember that. And again, a bag from the Secret Not Secret Advent Calendar. Then just a little card from um, a really close friend of mine who is also a client, so I put that down. And then I added this in just recently in, um, I think, the bonus day number one, where somebody gave me this right after Christmas. I hadn't seen her before, so she gave me that. So I cut up one of those three by, um, four three-by-fours. I did this a couple of times and um, added a couple of cards in. And This is beautiful. It's, it, it's gorgeous. I wish I could do the just, it justice and then added um use this it, this was one um l studio still did front and back cards like they were you could use either side and um sometimes they would do them so one side was vertical and the other side was horizontal in this case it was two different prints so i was able to just use that which is cool because i think the green and red ties and gray ties back into this page which is the original page with the um just the picture of the gifts and then the tag here then day number 27 is um, some of the shirts that I made, and you can see this goes um, with it as well. Again, one of those where I cut the three by fours out. So these two are my mom's Christmas gift, and these are three that I made for myself. You've seen this one before. But I put it back in here again so that I could talk to it a little bit more and added um, some of the... Um, word stickers, which I thought was fun. This day number 28 is a picture of my mom and my sister and I going to this awesome um, museum called the Payne Arts Center. It's in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, if you're from Wisconsin. Uh, they do a, they decorate the house according to a theme and this year's it was the Nutcracker and then they hide things for the kids. Like they had all these mice hidden through each room for the kids. So my sister, me and my mom. Um, and one of the pictures of the rooms that I loved Lots of journaling about it, and then the house itself, and then another one of the rooms. I'm going to do a much larger 12 by 12, or probably double page 12 by 12 spread of these um, of this of these pictures because these are just my favorites. I took a lot of pictures, and you know I might end up with like some four by six inserts where you can do um, six or 12 photos, which I'll probably which is probably what I'm going to do. This is the map of the house with the mouse hunt for the kids and just some die cuts from L Studio. This is actually punched from my piece of paper. This is a little brochure from the place itself. And then I didn't particularly love how this looked with this next spread. So I just put a piece of vellum, just because this isn't really pretty, a piece of vellum with a doily and the good cheer on it because this was good cheer. And I'll separate things like I did this a little bit earlier, I think. Oh, or actually it's coming. Oh no, I did it earlier with this one. If I don't like them, sometimes that's what I'll do. This is a little story about um, just going, the Peckers played their last game of the season. I can see this guy is shifting a little bit, so I want to shift him back a little. Um, so we went to a local watering hole who has Bloody Marys. I don't do Bloody Marys, or I do just a little bit, but anyway. And then I used this pocket again just for my journaling. There's It's a gift tag, actually, old gift tag. I think I used two of these for sure, maybe even three this year. And then I put a word sticker and some stars on there and then journaled and put a little something on the inside. So again, 
using interactive elements with my book just to make it a little bit more special. This is again a day after Christmas where not a lot was happening. Um, I actually worked this day. This was Monday after Christmas, so or the yeah the Monday after Christmas. So I just did. Um, I had made some pot holders and some towels with my Cricut and just did that. Used a house die cut from our Secret Not Secret Kit Club. When I went through the next day, the colors I had two really awesome photos um, that I wanted to make sure got included, and I will scrapbook this event, but I wanted to talk to it in this book because it was like the big thing I did that day, or one of the big things I did that day because it's New Year's Eve. So I did kind of back to back things a little bit here, although it looks like this one's sliding a little, which is fine. Um, they're probably not going to be perfect, but kind of back to back added sequins, these um, wood veneer stars. This is where I first realized it, or snowflakes, I realized I didn't have a lot of wood veneer in my, um, uh, in my book, so I wanted to start adding more in. This is another shaker pocket that I made with the wood veneer snowflake and some sequins from our Secret Not Secret uh, Kit Club. Love the way this turned out. One of my favorite little shakers here. You can slide that around. This is my sister and I after a run, and it's just two really great photographs of the two of us. And I have to tell you, I'm getting more and more used to not just taking selfies, but no makeup selfies. Because when we run, we don't wear makeup, and I don't really care anymore. So I, you know, this is natural, and I'm used to it, and it's fine. And I actually love the picture, this picture of both of us here. All right, next day was when we celebrated Christmas with my family on the 1st. So this picture of, um, it's a picture of um, a lot, my great nephew. This is almost all about my great nephew. So I added in this little Instex picture. I started using my Instex towards the end of the holiday season, so there's not a lot of photographs uh, with the Instex, but hey, you know, you can kind of see where I got it. <laughs> um, Pictures of my, my my mom and I with our Wisconsin shirts on. I made both of them. This was part of her Christmas present, I had said, because they played in the Rose Bowl that day. Um, just some fun things. I don't have any pictures in here. If I decide I've got extra pictures that I don't use for my regular scrapbooking, I could. I did, I might want to glue these down a little bit more than I actually did, but I did... Um, add this bag in just as a surface for this because it was so different and then I use this December card to journal on I have a calendar in here so I knew I didn't need to use this calendar and because it is very specific the the dates are very specific to this year I wanted to make sure that I um, just used it as it was I guess or actually now that I look at it that's not really true because the 31st was on Tuesday, not Wednesday. I guess it looks like, if you're used to your calendar starting on Monday, this is correct. If you're like me and they start on Sunday, it's not. But whatever, I used it, it's in the book. And it it is for January, but it, you know, <laughs> this was my Christmas. So, and here's, I haven't been putting these out, but um, some more L Studio numbers. This is bonus day one, which was two kind of stories I didn't get in here. One about some more of the Christmas mug crafting I did and then a special ornament and kind of my tradition of getting a special ornament. And then here's some more Instex photographs because I realized that I had not, within the last week, had not put my Christmas tree in here or trees in here anyway. I had a little, little photos of them, but not any big photos. So I used the Instex and took... Um, pictures of my small trees added and this is the other side of the three by fours that I cut off and I use my own fuse tool to just fuse these pockets together and because it's an instex photo that works if it's not an instex photo this probably wouldn't work as well you'd have to make your photos smaller because it's not three inches here once you get the binder ring in and then just kind of a a regular you know card here just an extra card and a little hello December this is a partial of my tree and then this is just a picture of um, I'm doing this on the same day as I actually created this picture but um, just a kind of slice of everyday life around my house during the Christmas season and then last but not least my December calendar with things that I did or things like mailing Christmas cards and that kind of stuff and then just a little bit of washi tape and a die cut that was left over just that says good times which is appropriate so guys that is my December daily um, I think I said this in um, 
the last bonus video, but thank you so much for following me along or uh, following along with me. Thank you for all your kind comments, your likes, you know, just watching. And um, this truly is my favorite project, not just of the year. It's just my favorite project to do. Um, and like I said, I think this is my favorite album. So how cool that it's done. And um, today is the 2nd of January and it's complete. So and I, I think I also mentioned this, that you guys keep me honest. Usually, even before I did videos, I was done about, you know, usually by the 1st, 2nd, or 3rd of January. Because I pretty much either followed along or when I had time on weekends, I would catch up. Um, but I definitely, with doing daily videos, I definitely stay current. Not something I would recommend for everybody because it is pretty time consuming. But I have the time and I love doing it. So, thanks you guys. Um, don't forget the December daily 2019 playlist if you have any questions or you can also just put them in the comments and I will answer them. I, by the way, have seen all your comments all season long. I just have not had time to answer, like, or say thank you to all of them. I definitely will try to go back and do that. Um, I get notified every time somebody comments, so I have been seeing them and smiling every time somebody said thanks for doing this or just, you know, whatever the comment was. I tried, if you had a specific question, I did try to answer that, but um, just know that I saw everything. It's just December is so busy that I don't always get a chance to comment. So you guys, thanks so much. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you had a really fabulous season and a great start to 2020. Bye, everybody.